Greeting the sisters, um, Queen Aohio, Queen of the Faith, coming to you this day, September 15th, 2017. <laughs> Just kidding. Actually, my daughter is the Queen of the Faith. Um, when I die, I will uh, download all of the information that came with me when I was created, including the song of making, the universe, and then the song of unmaking, but um, that's my inverse version of myself, which um, Christians would call Satan. I'm just kidding. None of that is true. I'm just <laughs> having fun. Anyway, I'm back, and uh, I was talking about the Collins Elite before. Um, yesterday I made a video. I was real tired, so. <laughs> okay. Collins Elite is, like I was saying before, I was alluding to it. It's, an, uh, it's a covert um, it's a covert group of high-ranking military intelligence officers within the shadow government that have infiltrated the satanic goings-on that really run society. Now, I was, I, I think that I was saying before that, um, that I was telling my friend, um, I was trying to tell him, like, okay, think about the kind of society in which it was normal to worship a demonic god and to regularly have the elite priest class slash kings slash lords in their society make it a common practice to go to the top of a pyramid, cut a person open while they're still alive, pray and offer to a demon, offer, cut the person open while they're alive, okay? But first, before you do that, it's real important, uh, if you're going to do this kind of thing, to make the person as afraid as possible. Rile up that fear, get that fear, adrenaline pumping, coursing through their body. We just saw it a couple of days ago, my mom, and that was what the clown preys upon, and that's how they kill how he kills this, the, the, the demon that is Pennywise, he he gets to the children and adults, or children, he targets children by fear, okay? And the children, being children that they are, conquered the freaking thing by recognizing what that is and bravery and sticking together, love, bravery, courage, okay? So that's the only antidote to that kind of stuff. So anyway, think about the kind of society that it takes to make that cutting open a person, not just one person, but when they do these um, pra the, these holidays or whatever, they would have a whole mess of people that lined up, get them terrified, her you know, terrorized. Then at the height of their terror, while that all those hormones are in the blood, that's when they cut open the body. That's when they rip out the heart. That's when they offer it to the God and then dump the bodies down the steps of the pyramid. All right, it's normal, normal for them, okay? Well, Aztecs and Babylonians and Nineveh and all that, those were very highly advanced societies, highly advanced, highly advanced. They had knowledge of astronomy, physics, magic. Um, there's a cave drawing that's found in Mexico of a freaking brain surgery, okay? And then when they were the height of their success as a civilization, that's when that stuff was going on. Okay, so nothing's changed. So the Collins Elite is a group of Christian men and women that have infiltrated the top of our government, which, by the way, the owner of, uh, not Huffington Post, but uh, I posted it on my Facebook, okay, the major news publication. There, see, what's going on is thank God for Donald Trump. He has uh, allowed the FBI to do their job, basically, and make multiple arrests on p giant underground pedophilia rings. And one that just happened right here where I live, practically, in Arlington Heights, Illinois. They arrested a principal. Um, well, let me just pull it up really quick, because I want to get the information as accurate as, as possible. Dude, like these things, they always involve children, pedophilia, and witchcraft where they kill the kids, okay? It, that was a representation, that movie is, you know, very close to reality. So let me just pull up what's really going on. Who the people who are giving you your freaking news are Satanists, okay? Get it through your head. 
get mad about it. What's your normal response to this? Are you just going to say, oh, that's a shame, and then just go live your life as normal? Does that not make a difference to you? What's wrong with you? I know the people who are watching, the people who subscribe, the people who comment, you do give a damn. But I'm talking about everyone else, man. Like, you, the, even the one, my friends that I love that, that do comment, please, please start talking about this as a course of your just everyday thing that you do. You have to start making this a, a, a something, a, a topic of relevancy. Even though people will look at you and think you're weird and a Debbie Downer or whatever, you have to do that. Think of the kids. Think of the kids that are being kidnapped and raped and tortured and, and, and used as sacrifice. I mean, come on, man. Get, All right, so, okay. I was looking up uh, giant pedophilia ring Arlington Heights arrest. 750 plus sex criminals have been arrested across the United States since Trump got in office. All right, so Trump, you know, you, I'm telling you, man, this society, just like what happened to the Aztecs, freaking Cortez comes over and freaking kills them all. That's what they des deserve, okay? I don't feel bad. Cortez the killer? Yeah, good. I'm glad he did it. I'm not I'm not saying that uh, Roman Catholicism is, the ans is an answer because, no, it's another form of bondage because the freaking Vatican right now are using a radio telescope on Mount Graham used by the Apaches, um, the, a freaking known portal for uh, entities to cross over. That's where the Vatican Catholics are right now with a telescope named Lucifer looking for the thing that's going to come back, the Antichrist type crap. So you guys, listen, it's real simple. We live in a Tolkien-esque kind of reality, right? What is reality? Reality is a slide. It's a little tiny blip in which we experience our life that is just a narrow, tiny little window. If you really want to unlock the potential, the power of what it means to be a queen and a king and the shapers of society, you have to look at reality fuller spectrum as much as you can and that's including magic and the occult and the antidote to, to evil all of it is love at, via Christ because what gets to me the most is the, the mercy and love of God the creator of all that is ever was and will be he loves me he loves my kids now what does that do to me that makes me want to do my best and right by him because I have a lot of things I need to be forgiven for all the time but I love God, and I want to fight. I want to get these people. I want to get the information across. Now, don't you? What is your life going to mean? It's over in a minute. Just do something that matters, okay? Hundreds of sex traffickers arrested across the U.S. Uh, since Trump became president. ABC7 in Chicago was reporting that more than 100 people have been arrested in the Chicago area in recent weeks for sex trafficking. On a national stage, over 750 sex traffickers have been arrested since President Trump was sworn into the Oval Office on January 20, 2017. The National Johns Suppression Initiative ran from January 18th through February 5th and led to the arrest of 29 sex traffickers and of 723 people who tried to purchase sex often from children, 750, all right, uh, in Cook County, 101 alleged sex buyers were arrested by deputies and officers, in Lake County, two people were arrested, in Arlington Heights, five people were arrested, listen, you gotta tell me who the, they, see, this was what's disgusting about this fucking fake news shit, is that they don't tell you what the fucking sex crimes were. They're against kids. So once you realize that the whole goddamn world is lying in the weight of the evil one, and that the media that reports that, they're not telling you the whole story. Why wouldn't they say that about the children? Why? Because it's all being ruled by Satan, okay? Call me a fucking idiot. Call me crazy. I don't care. Sorry for swearing. It's wrong. You guys, someone's got to get mad. If I'm going to be the only one, then fine. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Just shut up and be quiet and just let these kids get raped and tortured to death by these people who worship Satan? Fuck no. I'm normal, okay? I'm normal because I care. Wake the heck up. Okay, so, no, pedophiles. See, it's so hard for them to say, yeah, that pedophilia is going on. Arrested. In... Arlington Heights. Lake County, that's, mm-hmm, Lake County, Illinois. Police team up 
against child porn on the dark web. <laughs> Let me just mention something real quick that's interesting. In a lot of Native American cultures, when um, they would have prisoners of war because of the battles that they would have amongst themselves, the Native Americans, uh, you know, brutal, brutal stuff. It was the women who were in charge of torturing. I think that's what makes it so interesting to men. The idea of a deadly woman is because she gives birth and she gives life, but she also has that side. The deadliest thing on this planet, I still think, is a woman who's scorned. <laughs> when, once she crosses over to that, that line, that deathy line, it's really scary. But see, I don't want to hurt anybody that's not an evildoer. I'm a normal person. I care so much about children. I love them. I love goodness. I love innocence. I love purity. I love valor. I love virtue. I love honor. I love God. I love America. I love the Constitution. I love our Bill of Rights. I am a normal person. It's everybody else out there who's fucked in the head that lets all this evil go on. And that's why America deserves to get destroyed, because you guys gave up. All right. Bringing light to the elusive cyber world investigators call the dark web is a back and forth technological battle between those searching for trafficking, child pornography, and the law enforcement agencies trying to make arrests and shut them down. Lake County, Illinois, cyber investigators are working with federal agencies, including the FBI, to share the knowledge, blah, blah, blah. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, the FBI and Department of Homeland Security have developed a national network for investigators to cooperate. Blah, 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 blah. Some use these programs and sites for a legal reason, but obviously use it for sharing child porn. And uh, in Lake County, the state's attorneys and sheriff's office they hound out the lion's share of child pornography. Vernon Hills. Last year, the server of a site called the Playpen was uncovered in North Carolina, taken over by the FBI for several months, according to the national reports. Ex Highland Park teacher gets four years in prison for child pornography. Don't you get it? I read the dark. I read the freaking book by David Icke. And you know what? You know where most of those people got their children is from working at daycare. Okay, you guys need to wake the hell up and realize that ancient Aztec is today. It's just covered up a little bit more. The fucking people who own the major newspapers admit to being Satanists. They admit it. You want to see it? You want to fucking see it? Here, I'll prove it to you. Satanists. Run newspaper. Use hex to kill people. God damn, I'm so fucking hard to find it all the time. Breaking top Democrats admit to conducting satanic rituals and murders. Alex Jones right here. Of course, nothing fucking works when I want it to. Sorry, you guys. I get riled, riled up. I know it's not nice of me to swear. My mom watches these videos out in Maine, and gets out me for swearing and says there's no excuse, but you know what? I'm just trying to find the names when of the people who... admit it. Alex Jones. It's been said that the Lord works in mysterious ways. And that's happening right now. The forces of global. Which cap to hex populist? Well, I don't know. Now it's gone, of course. But oh, it's bother. It's going to bother me. God dang it. <sighs> Where did it go? <laughs> Infowise, Infowise used hex to kill people. And this is one step above the spirit cooking, which they fucking admitted to. 
Of, it's so weird. I, found, I was looking at it last night. It's an old couple. It's not Huffington Post. It's the other one. Um, it's the old bag admits to freaking using hexes. Um, and they own an online newspaper, a major one, okay? I'll get it, and I'll get it back to you, and I'll leave it in my comments or whatever. But um, my point is, this is who runs society right now, and Trump knows that, and so he's allowing the FBI to do his their job, okay? So, um, you know, I am sorry for the swearing, it's wrong. But I really need you to wake up, get that feeling of, of, uh, <laughs> excitement back and you get a battle cry going okay let's do something about it and this is where we begin right here right now first you got to get mad first you got to get angry first you have to look at your kids and imagine okay how, how what how, what is it going to take do you want do you want america to be, be completely leveled out because we deserve it you know why because we've done nothing all right God's blessing to you. Read the Word of God. Read um, Nahum in the Old Testament. Read the whole book. It's little. And see what uh, was going on with Jonah and Nineveh. Ugh. I feel that way right now. But, um, oh, let me read that real quick. Nahum. Oh, wait. I posted it. Let me just read this real quick, okay? dead air here, but I'm trying to find something. Because, okay, I said whoredom, basically, whoredom. Nahum chapter 3. Judgments against Nineveh. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. The prey departeth not. The prey don't leave. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lift up, up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude slain, and a great number of carcasses, and what did they say? The prey departeth not. And there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon them. There's so many dead bodies laying around that you walk all over them because they're just... <laughs> because of the multitude of the whoredoms, of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms, and the families through her witchcrafts. Now, what did I say in my other video? What the fallen angels did with the women? You want an easier answer? You hey, somebody wronged you today. Some you want something right now? Okay, you don't have to pray for, to God and wait for Him to answer your prayer. I will show you a way to use you know witchcraft to get it faster. All you have to do is like you know, offer me blood sacrifices, do these spells. And leave me, temp you know, make me a temple and worship me instead of the Most High. You know, that's how it starts. That is what it is. Okay. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of Hosts. I will dis I will discover thy skirts lifted above thy face, and I will show the nations your nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. Good. Look at the whore. Look at the whore. Talking about a nation. Look at that hoary, dirty little freaking bitch that just let everything. Let just that, that that gave up her birthright, that left her family, that went uh, and sold her soul basically for a couple dollar bills and just became a crackhead. She was once so beautiful. She was once full of life. She once had so much promise. She had youth, she had family, she had vigor, she had beauty, she had everything ahead of her. And what did she do? She took a shortcut and she decided to sell herself out and become a whore. 
and that's this nation. Shirley, go over there. I, you're on camera. Go that way, honey. That way. Yeah, I don't want people to. Yeah. One second, okay? So, I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and will set thee as a gazing stock, and it shall come to pass that they shall look upon thee and flee from thee, and say, Nineveh is laid to waste. Who will bemoan her? Whence shall I seek comforters for thee, and thou better than populous? No, that was situated among the rivers that had waters round about it, whose rampart was the sea. Yet she is carried away. She went into captivity. Her young children were dashed in pieces on top of all the streets, and they cast lots for her honorable men. They gambled, and all her great men were bound in chains. Don't you see? Do you see what that means? It's that metaphor I just used of a promising young woman a woman that would have become a bride and had children and and all this promise and, and she left her home she decided to disobey her father and her mother and she lived on the streets and she became addicted to crack or to heroin and her hair and skin began to rot and fall out of her face and she became a whore to to feed her addiction and and she just ended up dying and becoming a naked gutter person that no one even remembers everyone forgets and she's just dead that's what she you know that's this nation that's what he's talking about only more better than I could describe but anyway this is how important this stuff is okay it's a time old tale no, Old Testament is full of these stories people who forget God nations who forget God get judged the end all right God bless <laughs>